if you look at it, first of all, if we take a, a look at BNP Paribas, which has basically a very balanced and diversified model, which is BNP Paribas, and I'll come back to that, CIB as well. And basically on the back of that, BNP Paribas saw its revenues up to a solid 11.8 billion euros. This accompanied by positive jaws, given our good control of expenses. On top of that, the cost of risk remaining very low, 31 basis points, well below our objective of 40 basis points. And so we see a strong increase in earnings with more than 10% clocking in at 3.3 billion euros. And this result, if you look at it, leads to an earnings per share of 4.70 euros, up 16.8%. So earnings are up more than 10% and earnings per share even more. And this is because the earnings are already fully compensating in an organic way Bank of the West. So Bank of the West is gone. Nevertheless, organically, we perform better. And then on top of that, we've bought back the first tranche of our shares. So the earnings per share is very solid. On top of that, we have received today the authorization of the ECB to launch a second wave. Yeah? And so that is something which will even further improve the earnings per share. And so that's basically what the group is standing for. And then if you look at CIB, which is your question, uh, the CIB has also those very good results and also for the reasons of it being diversified. Diversified, having that intimacy with our clients and a prudent risk management. And so if you look at it, the CIB, we had a very good bottom line that is picking up, also a dynamic top line. And if you look at it, global banking, very solid dynamic, up 15%. And global markets continues to gain market share despite a, 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 fa a less favorable environment for the moment. So that's basically what we stand. So it's all on the back of BNP Paribas being diversified and having the platforms to grow.